क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इज द बैटर दैन द इवेपोरेशन टू ड्राइनेस एज वाई इट इज बैटर बिकॉज सम सॉलिड लाइक शुगर कैन डी कंपोज ऑन द हीटिंग टू ड्राइनेस ड्यूरिंग इवेपोरेशन देर इज नो सच प्रॉब्लम इन क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ना वट विल हैपन सम टाइम्स इन इवेपोरेशन मैथड द सम सॉलिड्स विल डी कंपोज दैट इज इट विल कंप्लीटली ब्रेक डाउन वैन वी हीट दैम सो वी कॉन्ट गैट देयर प्योर क्रिस्टल्स बट इन क्रिस्टलाइजेशन वी कैन गैट द प्योर क्रिस्टल्स सैकेंड इज सॉलिबल इम्प्योरिटीज डू नॉट गैट रिमूवड इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ इवेपोरेशन वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स द सॉलिड इम्प्योरिटीज डू नॉट गैट रिमूवड इट मीन्स दैट समटाइम्स द इम्प्योरिटीज आर सो मच सॉलिबल इन अ वाटर दैट दे कैन कंप्लीटली डिजोल्व इन वाटर एंड वी कॉन्ट इवेपोरेट द वाटर एंड गैट देयर क्रिस्टल एंड द क्रिस्टलाइजेशन टेक्निक इज बैटर वन This is the difference between crystallization and evaporation. Now the fifth technique of separation is chromatography. What is this? It is a technique of separating two dissolved solid which are present in a solution in a very small quantities. It is a that technique in which we can separate the two solids which are present in a solution in a very small quantities. For example, we can dissolve the two solids in the water and we can separate the two solids. This is the technique of separation of the two dissolved solid. It means we can separate that two solids which can dissolve in a water with the help of chromatography. In crystallization, in evaporation, we can separate only one solid from a solution. But in chromatography, we can separate the two solid. There are the many types of chromatography, but here we discuss a simple form of chromatography that is paper chromatography. by the use of paper chromatography we can separate two or more different substances present in same solution it means by using the paper chromatography we can separate two or more different substances means two substances which can dissolve in a solution can be separated by the chromatography this separation is based on the fact that though two or more substances are soluble in same solvent their solubilities are different now what happen I know that two solids are dissolved in a water but the main difference is that their solubilities are different that's why we can use the technique chromatography clear